I want to share something with you that may help you for those of you who are waiting on your uh, marriage promise for marriage restoration and maybe you are still in divine separation. When you get to a space that you have fully surrendered to God and you completely trust God no matter which way the cookie is crumbling, no matter which way uh, the, the pieces blow, when you get to that space, you will realize that your spouse is not doing what you desire them to do yet only because it isn't God's timing yet. Like your spouse hasn't called yet because God's not allowing them or you're not ready or it's not time. Your spouse hasn't come home yet because God is still working behind the scenes. Things are not good yet. I've referenced this before when God was creating everything in the beginning. He said it was good. He got to man. He said it's not good. Anything that has yet to unfold it's because that's, like I said, it takes you get into a space where you know God is in control of everything, including free will. So my spouse hasn't called yet. My spouse hasn't come home yet. My spouse hasn't apologized yet. My spouse hasn't um, even told me they desire the same thing that God has uh, told me are his intentions. Like when you have that mindset and y'all, it took me years to get there. I'm not going to lie. It did not happen overnight. This was not just a binding and rebuking, a fasting and warring, and God, I trust you, I believe you. No, this took discipline. This took consistency. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This took effort. This took um, work on my end. I was just telling my last client today that God can do any and everything, but some things he chooses, many things he chooses to do with us. And that's one of the things where God is like, I'm not going to do that for you. Like you have to take the initiative and I'll meet you there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, have you guys ever seen the movie, The Shack? Oh my gosh. When I say I love that movie, like ball out tears, love that movie. In The Shack, when the father, the man was getting ready to go into the cave and he was walking with Jesus and Jesus was like, you got to go in there yourself. This part here, you have to do. I can't do this with you. I can't do this for you. Like you have to do this. It's like one of those things there. So there comes a space where you have to decide because we all have free will, right? So even in that, you have to decide that you want to believe what God is saying, what God is doing, what God has told you, despite not seeing that. You have to choose. Will you believe what you see? Will you believe what you feel? Will you believe what you think? Will you believe even your lack of not knowing that uncertainty will you believe that or will you choose that's will god gives us choice will you choose to believe god is in control god knows all god sees all like nothing is happening without god's knowledge approval and if he isn't allowing it thank you holy spirit it's because of a reason it's either because you're not ready it's because they're not ready it's because god is still working it's because um God is still more that he wants to do. But as long as you continue to wrestle with the fact they haven't done this yet, they haven't apologized yet, they haven't come home yet, I haven't received it yet, I haven't seen it yet, it's still a yet, y'all, because there is still something that God is doing. God is the one holding it back. God is the one delaying it. God is the one, thank you, Holy Spirit, possibly allowing the enemy to delay it. Everything that the enemy does, God has to allow Y'all, there's nothing the devil can do that God is like, oops, I didn't, I didn't allow him to do that. I don't know why he's doing that. Like, he has to allow it. And if he's allowing it, it's for a reason. It's for your growth. It's for your development. It's for your um, him molding you. It's for your good. He uses the devil for your good. But I just want to encourage you, if you're in that space of still waiting and you're wondering why they haven't picked up the phone, why they haven't called, Lord, why is this still going on? Why... Um, haven't they returned home? Why are we still in this space? Instead of just keep asking God the why and you're stuck with that victim mentality, right? Lord, I know you're the one not allowing this for a reason. You're the one prolonging this for a reason. You're the one using the devil in this way for a reason. You're the one that sees that I'm not ready yet for a reason. You're the one that sees they're not ready yet for a reason. Whatever it is, God, I know that you know all. I know that you know best. I choose to surrender and submit to that. Lord, just help me be in alignment with whatever it is that you're doing, even if I don't understand what you're doing. 
even if I don't like what you're doing, even if I don't agree with what you're doing, because your flesh will always be at war with the spirit and God is spirit. Just help me to submit to that. Give me peace in that. Just give me more of you in that. I guarantee if you can get to that space and change your perspective and understand things have not happened yet or played out yet or it's not tangible yet because God is behind it for a reason. Some things he will tell you what's the reason of the holdup. Many things he won't tell you and you have to choose to have peace in that. Notice I keep using the word choose. That's where your free will comes in. You can choose to believe everything that goes against what God is saying. And Holy Spirit is not going to validate you there because he's the spirit of truth. He does not speak on his own. So when you're speaking and thinking and acting in a way that's against the will of the Father, Holy Spirit shrinks back. He's like, I can't come into agreement with that because that's not what the Father has said. But when you choose to sync with Holy Spirit, be in sync with him, be in harmony with him, be in step with him and fully surrender like God I don't know why you're doing this, but I know you're behind it. I don't know why this doesn't look like it's working out in my favor yet. This doesn't look like a Romans 8, 28 yet. This doesn't look like an Ephesians 3, 20 just yet. This doesn't look like blessings of Obed-Edom resting on my house just yet. But I give you my yes, and I choose to have peace in whatever it is that you're doing.